my YouTube video here. Um, I'll turn the generator on just so you can see. I don't have any potassium hydroxide in solution. So that's why there's not much fizzing going on. There is a minute amount, but not much. So with my new environment here, I actually have it. To the reservoir. So there we go. Now I am adding a fair amount because this is what I would characterize as a brute force environment. And then I will shoot this through to the generator. And we will see the difference in production. Okay, here it goes. Now it's now starting to be cycled through and what you'll start to notice is that production will start increasing. Hometometer. Let's give you a sense. So that's one capful, and that is running at ten volts, and I'm getting. over 40 amps so I'll push this back down I've turned it off I haven't turned off the pump turn off the pump now let it clear a bit Then we'll run another test. Okay, that's fairly clear. Uh, this time I'm going to run a volume test. So I got my stopwatch here. Turn it on. Start. So it's fairly violent. Watch out. We're right, at 12, 14, 16 seconds, 17 seconds, 18 seconds, 19 seconds, 20. I've got 21 seconds here. Now what happens in these in this type of environment, since it is brute force, you get heat, a lot of heat. That's why I turn on. through this radiator, which is not warm yet, but the whole idea is to cool this rather violent action occurring. And as you can see down in the bottom, I'll turn the pump off. 
and I'll turn the pump back on. So it is circulating. Getting lots of volume. We're running it at a little over 50 amps at the moment. Volume is quick and considerable. So the whole idea is to contain this without experiencing a catastrophic event. And that's where the radiator comes in handy because it then allows me to cool the fluid. Now as I mentioned before, this is a regular radiator. So what happens to the solution is that it'll start to get red. And what that is is that's oxidation coming out of the inside of this radiator, which they then have to purge. So I have on order a stainless steel radiator with copper fins that should help reduce that. Okay, I'm going to turn this down and I'm starting to burn some stuff. My next step in this is to increase the bolt size so I get less uh, heat. Um, also this connection is starting to warm up. So I'm going to increase the gauge to a uh, higher gauge. And then we'll run it through again and see the results. So I'm going to turn this on just one more time. So as you see, I'm getting a lot of production, but I am going to have to deal with the heat issues. And then we will test it again. Video.